Hey everybody, Maul here. I thought we'd uh, jump in today. We got some pretty decent offers, so we are going to try to do some non-day one summons and see if we can replicate the sort of luck that I see on day one. So let's uh, we'll do. I have uh, ten from the offer. I ended up with one extra from um, some gifts from people in the Alliance, so let's try doing 11 with the tower here, and then if we have luck, we'll continue to pull like we do before. If we don't, we'll take a break and come back and pull later. So let's jump into this. Kilani, huh? All right, well, I would really like Nyx would be good. Should be a great asset to my purple team. And then, of course, Sharon here. Another, you know, awesome, great asset to the purple team. Thanatos, he'd be great too. He was uh, nerfed, but he still looks like a really good hero. And you can never have too many healers, especially healers that you can um, decide when to fire them. Use them early if you need them. Save up for the more powerful heal later on, if you have the chance. Thanatos can really swing the tide of a, of a match too because of that increased mana. On that third charge, it gives you mana and increases mana generation. Dante, not the one we're looking for. Skittle Skull. He is one that I've never actually used. All right, we've got a few left. Jane Gear. Oof, okay. Well, we got one more. So here's the free one from the Alliance. Let's see uh, if it pans out. And nothing. All right. So we'll take a break here, come back later, and do, I think it's, okay, 10 more pulls, and we'll do those in, in the Covenant Summons. All righty. I just realized I was doing polls with the sound turned off, so felt like I was talking to myself now for some reason. Um, it feels normal when I'm re recording, but now it feels weird that I wasn't. So I did see that I just pulled Elena, so I went and bought more offers for today. Now we've got 17 more pulls, and let's see if we get a follow-on. Oh, Shrub Beer's back.
so part of this theory is that day one is luckier and that if I pull a five star I'll there'll be more five stars coming right behind it so I guess we're sort of testing both theories here this is day two we did get a five star with Elena I believe Elena was the one we pulled first on day one and do we have a follow-up five star coming right behind Seventeen is a pretty decent check. Three more. Mm. One more. Belleth. And we've got some coins. We'll do one last pull. And nope. All right, well, we'll continue this tomorrow and see what comes about. Okay, we're in day three here, and we are going to continue putting all these together. If it's not day one, then all these videos are going to get put together into basically the, the, the day one category and the not day one category. So, I went ahead and bought some offers. Let's do 10 pulls and see if we get anything right now. If not, then we'll come back a little bit later. Do 10 more. I have Malin and I have Canel. So, I'm really hoping for uh, Hawthorne here. Would really like another good healer can always use good healers. Healers that generate mana. Alright, number four. Number five. Ooh, Alice. Okay. I guess that means we gotta keep going then. Let's see if, uh, if we can do about 20 more and see if we can get a follow on. Alice is a non-featured, but she's one of the few that I don't have, so that is nice. Yesterday we pulled Elena, I think, and did 17 or 18 follow-ons and didn't get a follow-on five-star. Alright, I think we're at... Around 10, I should be counting here. One more coin. Yeah, we'll do a 10 pull right now. If our odds are up, maybe there's golden hours that happen throughout the whole time, but I'm pretty sure it's just day one, but that's why we're testing. So, looks like we're going to, yep, 
So we did about 20, 25 follow-ons after we got Alice. And again, today, we stumbled on, you know, a five-star and then didn't hit on a follow-up after that. So it looks like we're pulling with regular odds today. So we'll keep going. We'll see what happens tomorrow and... Then we'll pot, compile all this together and see where we stand on odds versus, you know, above odds, below odds, whatnot. Okay, so we just did six random pulls in the um, in the tower summon here. I bought the offer, two of them, and did some pulls, and I got Nemesis. Actually, that was my third Nemesis. I haven't pulled any of the other heroes during the tower summon, but I've pulled Nemesis three times. So, you know, if we're going to test this theory, then I got to do a 30 pull here but I really don't really don't want to pull a 30 pull in the tower summon because uh, these heroes just don't seem as useful as the heroes here I really want Hawthorne and I don't think it would matter based on the RNG which portal you're pulling from it's not the first day on either one of them so let's do it here I'll do a 30 pull see if I get a follow on this is testing that uh, theory that on, on day one I all I've always gotten the follow-ons afterwards so we'll see Well, as of right now, it looks like it works all the time. So, all right, that was uh, it's nice to see, actually. Oh, and the Hero of the Month. And the Hero of the Month again. Alright, well, that was, a, that was a nice pull. So, there you have it. Um, I'm going to keep testing this theory. I guess now i got to start testing it first day and off of the first day. But... We'll uh, go back and take a look at how many pulls were done in total and see how close we are to the actual odds based on what I've been doing here. And then I um, can't really draw any conclusions yet, but we have, we're off to a good start. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Just kidding. I'm back. I thought we'd uh, add some bonus footage on here. Normally, I would just pull on that day one and 
I actually got the hero I wanted on day one. So that on, you know, just if I wasn't recording videos here, I would have stopped there. But I decided, you know, we've got this platform. We're trying this out. So over the day two, three, I did more polls and kept track of the numbers. So I wanted to summarize everything in the end here to go back and then I'll do some polls at the, at the very end here. So day one, I did 92 polls and I got three heroes. Two of them were um, non-featured and one was featured. So the non-featured heroes, I was getting at about double the rate. The poll rate is 0.9 and I got two of them with 92 polls. Hero of the month was one hero of the month in 92 polls at a 1.3%. That's about what you'd expect. And then I got Dabria with 92 polls. Uh, that's right on track, right what you would expect. So statistically speaking, that is right on par. Now I will say, except for the non-featured, what I will say is that the mistake that I made day one is there was a block there where I did 10 polls and didn't get anything and I continued pulling and I did 25 polls in one block and didn't get anything. That's the big mistake that I made day one. Rule number one to the way that I pull is I, if I don't get a five star in 10 polls, I stop, wait an hour or two and come back later. You'll notice if you go back and rewatch or if you remember from the first video that the, let's see, the third time that I did a 10 pull, I pulled Obicon and then I did uh, 40 pulls after that and got both Elena and Davria. So, like I said, 10, stop yourself at 10 pulls if you don't get anything because They'll come, just you got to put some distance in, in time there. On day t two and three, if we combine all the videos for the non-day one, I, I did 11 pulls, didn't see anything, came back later, did 10 pulls and got Elena. Uh, so I continued pulling, did 18 more pulls after Elena, didn't get anything, so I stopped. Came back later, did, I was doing 10 pulls and I pulled Alice during that time. So I continued on and did about another 20 pulls after that and didn't get anything so I stopped. Then I came back, I did 9 pulls and got Nemesis in the tower. And so I did a follow on 30 pull and got Stained Tongue. All that adds up to 106 pulls. And again, I ended up with one of the event heroes, which is about average, and and two of the non-featured heroes, which is double the normal pull rate. So statistically speaking, the day one pulls and the non-day one pulls are very similar. Um, both uh, the non-featured were, were coming at double the normal pull rate. I just spread them out a lot more on day on the non-day one pulls. So, uh, you know, when it's that close, it's tough to say. So, I guess we'll just keep doing this. Um, I do have one chest left to open here. I didn't open it. I'm going to open it right now. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. I haven't done any pulls off camera that I didn't show you because I, I haven't even run out of chests yet. I still have four more pulls before I hit the, what, the 10th chest? Or I guess that would be 20 chests. I don't know how many, but let's go in here. And I have 17 coins, so let's just go ahead and finish out this video with some pulls. And if I pull a 5-star here, it's going to throw up all my numbers.
which I'd be okay with. Well, we're getting four stars. I see now the chests are sold out. coming over and over. Let's see if we get a five star. I'm gone. Dawn is a great hero. Uh, in the last tournament I put two of her on that defense team and did very well. I had an A at the end. Three left. Oh, Guardian Chameleon. Oh boy. That is a non featured hero. So now I guess that means I'm at three times that rate. Well, let's see. Let me pause this here for a second and think about this. Okay. <clears throat> well, in the name of science, is what I'm going to tell myself, we are going to keep pulling. Since we got Chameleon, I'd really like to do at least 20 more pulls and see if there's a five-star that will follow that. So I did buy the offers. I don't like buying full-price gems. So that means we're going to have to split these. I ended up with 13 tower pulls and we'll do a 10 pull in the in the covenant now. I would normally want to keep pulling in the same event, but I, I don't know if that actually matters. So let's start by doing a 10 pull here. So we just pulled chameleon. Let's see what we get here. All right, nothing here. I swear if I pull another nemesis, I'm going to make an entire team of them. Usually expect to see that follow on within the next 20 pulls. I don't think I have. Oh, yes, I do. Three pulls left. One left. Okay. All right, well, 
We got some extra gems. Let's just do one more. Another drain. Okay, we're done. So, to summarize it, I I don't see any of the follow-on luck that happens after day one. Um, it just really seems like I'm pulling right at that rate, that the advertised percentage rate, which is what I would expect. I think stain tongue coming uh, less than 20 pulls after a five star was was random luck. Um, when you average out all the numbers, they do come out at the right rate. So um, that's uh, that's all I got. Leave uh, leave some comments. Let me know if you have a different lucky day or if you've seen something similar and uh that's it thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video